Um, we are here today on, as I said, a number of complaints that are pending um, with regard to this matter. The first complaint is a complaint brought by Bob Hauser, again, HOWZ Jr. Um, he filed a complaint concerning an auction which occurred on or about April 26, 2014 in the state of Louisiana. Um, it appeared from the research of the matter, and I think Mr. Uh, will not deny this, that there was no written contract with regard to that matter, um, and we will introduce evidence of it, uh, and Mr. does want to present his position with regard to this side as to why there's no written contract in a matter that's clearly over $500, which is a violation of um, Section 11 of 37, colon, 3121A. The second matter that we are for today is that there have been allegations in, of uh, NSF checks being paid to consigners on more than one occasion. Um, with regard to that, um, there is a violation of our statute. Again, 3121A, Section 12, over a period of seven calendar days after notice is given to make sure the check which has been returned for insufficient funds and NSF check or bank draft to the owner and signer of uh, auction goods and set up pursuant to RS 373125. <coughs> Further that, it's also a violation of 373125B, which states that you have 30 days from receiving the money from the buyer to pay the signer as long as it's no later than 60 days from the date of sale of the auction. That our allegations are that he failed to pay the consignors timely and he paid them with an NSF check, which was not made good during that period of time. Again, uh, there's also an allegation of no written contract for all of these particular matters uh, that we are going to present to the board today. Uh, further, there, on both matters, we're alleging violations of Section 8. Four and A5 of 3121, which are efforts to deceive or defraud the public, and also incompetency or gross negligence, and all of the accounts brought before us. What was the substance of that complaint? Essentially, it was a man lift was sold below the stated reserve. Okay, well, was there really a stated reserve? Yes, there was. Okay, and how do we know there was a stated reserve? from uh, Patricia Artis, who's the, uh, she's a collections manager, I believe is her title. Uh, she provided me copies of emails that were sent to Mr. Brister. Why don't you tell us how she's involved with the matter? The man lift was consigned, I might refer to my notes, by Robert Milstead. Uh, there was money owed on, the, there were two items in fact, there was a man lift and a tractor. There was money owed on the man lift and the, uh, the bank, uh, Cross Keys Bank was the lien holder. Uh, they provided me with a, uh, 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 the email that directed Mr. Brister to sell it for a stated price provided me with the UCC filing stating that they had a lien. And uh, uh, all this was, according to Ms. Artis, sent to Mr. Brister. Uh, Mr. Brister said that he did not get this, or he rather, uh, rather than told Ms. Artis that. Did you ever receive a contract between Mr. Milstead and Mr. Brister of his auction? No, uh, I spoke with both Mr. Milstead and Ms. Artis, as well as the attorney handling uh, this for the bank, and none of them uh, executed or was in possession of uh, With regard to this matter, how is Mr. Hausa involved? Mr. Hausa is the poor guy that bought the matter. Okay, and did he pay less than the actual reserve? Yes, he paid uh, $900 for it, and, and how $90 much? in buy Okay, and how much was the actual lien on the man lift? Uh, it was over $500. Okay, and 
name. And that's the last I heard from him until I got something from the auction board on it. Uh, I did not have a written contract with the bank on the tractor, but it did not sell um, for the reserve that she wanted. But uh, like I said, I was totally unaware that that he had even brought the man left to the sale until the day of the sale. <coughs> on the man <coughs> with the um, left. Um, they, the have not con they have not contacted me at so all. So Mr. Howe still has the left? And as far as I know, uh, I never did really you know why he had a complaint with the auctioneer for it myself. Because uh, he's about to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> um. Actually, uh, word travels faster from Baton Rouge, West Monroe, and back faster than high speed internet. I don't understand that, but it does. Uh, but there was people in West Monroe who knew two weeks that my license had been suspended before I even knew it. And sent me emails and said it's on the internet, and I was mad. But. With regard to this matter, have you been sued by anyone over any of these issues we discussed today? Have there been any lawsuits there? No. Do you have any lawsuits present to the issue of income? No, no, no. Um, uh, no one has filed a complaint or a claim on any of the NSF checks, is your testimony? But you do agree that some of those checks apparently were paid after the 68 months. Larry Green on that. No, uh, I can promise you there's no check anywhere that out there that wouldn't be paid. Uh, I think you'd understand that they would be calling you if there was. Well, the reason that we're here is in part that we were in the That's right. Uh, do you have any, ten, uh, any outstanding judgments in this one against you? Are you coming? Uh, none that I know of. Bankruptcy on Monday? You saw that or someone called you and told you that? No, I actually saw it on, on, on a report I get from the Western District. Okay. Um, because my lawyer was under the understanding that you told him someone had called you and told you that. No, I looked it up. It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, the reason why uh, I had planned to sell my business uh, in October uh, when my suspension was made. I haven't made no money since then, and my, my bank notes are $5,000 a month. Uh, I've gotten behind, and now, until I get my license back, I was delaying that. In the meantime, I'm three months behind on my bank notes, and now they're going to send it to shirt sale as quick as they can because I got a quarter million dollars of equity in the place. So that, you know, they said, we can get our money just like this. So to stop the shirt sale, I did file for bankruptcy. But it's certainly going to be dismissed the minute I sell my building because I got so much equity in the building, I'd be a fool uh, not to dismiss, dismiss it as soon as I sell my building to pay, pay the bank off. As a matter of fact, the bank is the only thing that I buy a bank on. Uh, and it was just to stop a sheriff's sale until I um, rectified this matter here to where I could sell it. If there is a sheriff's sale coming up, you can see by something. So I think that may not be correct. <laughs> well, I mean, I, 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 didn't, I didn't put those two and two together. Would you find Mr. Mark Brister in violation of the following statute? Louisiana Revised Statute 3731, Section 3121 Louisiana Revised Statute 3721A12.
license will be suspended for six months. Today, upon the completion of six months, a one year probationary period. However, Mark, before you got to work, we're going to allow you to license Diamond D LLC for the auction business. However, you like to hire an auctioneer for them, and you like to be responsible for the statutes, signing the contracts, and everything. And uh, you can file for a business license. But that's, that's the rule.